again uh, once again welcome to my youtube channel uh, MV Auto Service uh, and Repair today we have a uh, Sovaro XB uh, this, this is the car here so some are complaining about uh, the um, uh, lights are coming on to uh, the cluster and uh, one is engine lights on and the other one is ABS and the other one is traction control and uh, lastly is the hill start assist so what we found when we scan on this car uh, is um, this one here codes that we found when we scan the vehicle it's a on the engine side we have P0700 80 uh, automatic transmission MIL lighting request and on the AP side uh, C1422 and the other one that's a, a VDC interrupted and the other one is C1424 ECM of normal C1431 ECM of normal um, just a quick uh, hints guys um, reason why there is no trouble code on the transmission here but uh, and then maybe you ask why I removed the transmission here so what happened is uh, this code came up it's on the engine side and it's not on the transmission side so but the code is on the transmission side so it's P0700 P0 80 mil lighting request so what happened guys is uh, when this code come up the TCM uh, abnormal uh, meaning the transmission control module monitors the malfunction of the sensors and actuators so um, in relating to the transmission control when the TCM detects a malfunction with the controls a signal is sent to the ECM the engine control module so and then it triggers the engine lights to on that's why it the trouble code for the transmission it come up to the engine uh, side it's because when the TCM detects any abnormalities and um, it sends signals to this to the TCM the engine control module to trigger the engine lights or service engine zone lights <laughs> the ECM now stored the P0700 code so that's what happened there why the, um, the other thing and the possible cause might be the any shorted open circuit to the transmission control uh, wiring harness or any connectors that are um, really poor connection the main cause of the problem for this particular uh, trouble is the transmission valve body itself so the circuit board the valve body is having a problem not what happened here um, there is a noise also apart from those codes there is also um, a noise on the front differential here which is which is there inside the gearbox I'll just give you an update with um, the Subaru uh, XV that we just um, uh, replaced just uh, two days ago we replaced the uh, gearbox and the, the gearbox is the old gearbox is over there yeah that's the one there and yeah um, we'll give you the the updates and uh, what happened to this uh, um, vehicle after we we've done the repair so uh, let's go so now we're gonna start the engine and yeah if you can see there's no more uh, strange life uh, that come on on the dash on the cluster and like before it's just like a Christmas tree and on chick engine lights lights on ABS lights on um, the hill start assist and the traction control lights are on on the cluster and now place the gearbox 
uh, some other like Nissan Pathfinder that when you replace the gearbox it needs to reprogram with a CD uh, together with the gearbox or else you cannot reprogram it you cannot reprogram it without the CD but this one here this particular car um, is uh, plug and play so just fit the transmission on uh, plug and play it's there's no need to recode um, the the system so just plug play and then uh, relearn the adaptive values and that's it that's PO700 means to say that the gearbox is um, is uh, faulty it's not it's not it's not the whole gearbox in a way because it shifts fine runs fine all the shiftings are good but the thing is the valve body the valve body circuit has a problem with a communication between ECM to TCM that's the reason why it come up with a code of PO700 and after we replace the gearbox assembly because the valve body itself it, it's really cost a lot that's we that's why we prefer to get a second hand one um, assembly and fit it on we already uh, been for a road test for this one and it's all good but uh, we will try to go for a drive with you guys so that um, uh, you will know that it is really good and it's fixed so let's go for a drive so I'll just uh, get someone to hold the camera and I would like to introduce this uh, handsome guy here <laughs> yeah. and then so that there's someone that can hold the camera for me or else we will catch we will pull over by the police where are we going to go so yeah we will drive outside the workshop and then we will show you we will show you that uh, we fixed the problem and it drives fine Here we go. Sandbag and the camera. Ah, just a dalang. Tutok mo lang minsan dito sa cluster. Ajan. operation of the gearbox now is um, going back to normal there is no DTC uh, no lights on dash and it drives very smooth so, um, whenever that you encounter this particular car here even it is not only it's not only in, uh, happen in a Sovero XV but it happens on always from uh, sometimes in uh, Forrester WRX because um, all new WRX and Forrester are all um, uh, CVT gearbox the same as this one uh, the Forrester is the same as this one anyway so but if, whenever you encounter this kind of problem that all the light the, that the cluster is just like a Christmas tree having all lights on over there and then yeah when you scan it and then we, when you get the same code uh, um, yep so we don't have any more DTC apart from that red one there that's for handbrake <laughs> yeah pull the handbrake down it's off so that's it so yeah and I hope this video can help you in the future and um, stay tuned for some videos to be uploaded and don't forget to subscribe my channel uh, for more videos to come thank you very much and have a good day